Hello and welcome to Local Gov Strategy TV. Uh, today I'm joined by Sue Bruce, who is Chief Executive of Edinburgh City Council. Um, Sue, welcome. Um, what kind of challenges is Edinburgh uh, facing at the moment in delivering its public sector services? Probably very much similar challenges to most councils in the UK. Clearly at this present time we're facing the pressure of um, reductions in public spending and at the same time managing expectation, um, you know, with more and more people facing hardship in their personal life, then that in turn can put pressure on council services. But what we're really doing is looking at how we can, um, you know, deliver our services in the most efficient way and maintain a sharp focus on customer service and the front line. And so are you doing anything differently from other councils or are you just following the crowd? Um, I don't think uh, I would confess ever to being a follower. However, um, I've just to explain, I've been in Edinburgh since January of this year and was previously Chief Executive at the City of Aberdeen Council. And what we're beginning to look at is something which we did in Aberdeen, which is to do priority or zero-based budgeting across the board. I've tended to find that councils tend to budget or plan their budgets on an incremental basis. I think sometimes, particularly when we're faced with the scale of challenges that we're facing at the present time, it's not unhelpful to go back to base and see if we can actually recast what we're doing. Do you find that's a more efficient way of uh, calculating public expenditure there, going back to basics, understanding what's really needed, what really needs to be spent? And, and are you taking your elected members along with you in that uh, approach? Well, I would say, having had experience of working in two cities over, over the last recent period, um, our experience in Aberdeen was that we c were able to take both the elected members and the public with us, largely. And Aberdeen has just published its draft budget um, for um, the next year within a five-year framework. And in Edinburgh, um, we are now considering launching a, a priority-based budgeting exercise which would take place over the next, would take care of the next several years. Um, I think it's really important to focus on customer needs and um, to prioritise our budget in a way where we can demonstrate that we're delivering outcomes. I am absolutely not in favour of fantastic processes that don't deliver outcomes. So the focus really has to be how can we do it better um, with less, which is of course something we've heard a lot of certainly over the last five to ten years but it really is serious now there is you know serious downward pressure on public spending and of course one of the benefits of Scottish communities is the public sector tends to work very closely together so we've got good working relationships with police fire health universities colleges and so on and between us um, you know we are developing a, a better understanding of how we can work together and serve our communities effectively in an age of austerity, inevitably services may need to reduce. That means uh, perhaps less staff. Is that something you've got planned? And, and how, how are you going to take staff along with you with those sorts of changes? I think, I mean, I think people are very alive to the fact that there's a lot of pressure in, in public service. Um, and accordingly, we've been doing things like, look, you know, if you get a vacancy, is it better to freeze a vacancy that you can remodel around or make somebody redundant. And I think we would all argue that it's better to freeze or delete vacancies and remodel services around the resources that we have or retrain people, give them perhaps second or third career um, change opportunities within an organisation. I think clearly um, you know, people who work in the public sector, particularly lower paid people, are concerned about their futures. And we can see that with the type of discussions that are generating across the country, and I mean the UK, in terms of um, unrest amongst workforces about their futures, their pensions and so on and of course concern amongst service users. So I think an open and honest dialogue is necessary um, where it's possible to have schemes where we can downsize the workforce by voluntary means then that's a good thing and in Scotland the Scottish Government has come out with a preference for no compulsory redundancies so we're working within that framework to see how we can be flexible to live within our means and give people the opportunity to retrain for other jobs and um, things of that nature. We're also nevertheless um, trying to create job opportunities for young people 
because one of the things that is, will be a pressure on public services and is something that I think we're concerned about, the length and breadth of the country, is um, the lack of opportunity for young people at the moment. And in Edinburgh, we've got um, a positive scheme going on at the moment called the Edinburgh Guarantee, where we're working with um, businesses, colleges, the voluntary sector and the council itself to create jobs for young people whilst at the same time living within a constrained um, resource base. So I think we do have to use our imaginations, think laterally, be cooperative and try new things. Because at the end of the day, public services are valuable, the service users value them, and notwithstanding the pressures of the environment, we need to do our best to um, meet assessed need and do it in a quality way.